on the net. Albert Selimov against Lazaro Alvarez. This is one of the most anticipated bouts of the finals. Lazaro Alvarez. Is Lazaro Alvarez, ranked number one at lightweight, sub 60 kilos, 6 and 0 in his first WSB season. A stylish fighter, uber confident as he comes dancing up to the ring. He is up against a very tough man. Alvarez, two times world champion, he won here in Baku, he's got good memories of this place from 2011 at the World Championships, then backed it up with a win in Almaty in Kazakhstan. He really does have everything, this man. Power punching, beautiful movement around the ring, long rangy. Please welcome to the ring, red corner. He's not the only one with a World Championship gold medal. 2007 World Champion Albert Selimov. Even in their ring entrance, set, the different styles, the flair of the Cubans dancing in. And, uh, down to business look about Selimov. Zaro, six wins, zero losses in his debut season. This is going to be a cracking bout. Robert Selimov, 28 years old, four wins, one loss. It was courtesy of Lomachenko. Of, uh, the greats of Maiva uh, boxing, both at WSB and at World Championships. Lomachenko, he actually beat in 2007 to win that world title. And Lomachenko got his own back in the WSB. So this is a classic Cuba against uh, Azerbaijan. Again, the Aziri shorter, marches forward, very powerful, quick fists, and uh, the Cuban. Well, beautiful flair around the ring. Well, how do you see this one going? Well, this is a very close matchup indeed. I've uh, followed Selimov throughout the whole series. First and he's just put on. continually fantastic performances in for his teams. I mean, what a record. Seven and two across two seasons in the WSB. And that's not to mention the uh, accolades that he's achieved uh, through IEBA. I mean, going back to 2005 at the National Championships, he took silver. 2006, he took gold. 2006 in the European Championships, he took gold. 2007, National Championship gold. 2007, World Championship gold. The list goes on right up to 2011 and the National Championship gold at the weight. I mean, he really is an impressive boxer. The Azerbaijanis have just selected an ace team to go up against the Domodoros here. The Cubans, of course, just so, so good. Their record unbelievable so far. I mean, Alvarez is uh, currently ranked number one and he's got six and zero oh in the WSB record. He's just had his chin tested there by um, Selimov. A right hand caught uh, Alvarez, so that's woken him up. That was a smell the coffee moment. But uh, halfway through this round, just look, the cat and mouse game begins. Three world titles between them. Just for uh, those who enjoy statistics and facts, Cuba have won 67 gold medals at the World Championships. As I said before, Russia, the second best country on 20. The Aziris only have four World Championship gold medals. Some in 11th on the world table. And this man, Selimov, is one of them. So you can imagine a nation that just loves their boxing, just about the national sport. I think it's fair to say it is. And he is one of four world title winners. So uh, a true hero out here in the ring. But he'll need a heroic performance against this young Cuban. Anyway, 
It's considered by many to be the number one lightweight in the world, and he's going to town here. This is impressive punching, pushing back the Aziri, who normally pushes back his opponents. Well, they're both Southport. They're both very fast, and just look at the attacking power that Selimov has. He comes crouched behind those hooks, but uh, Alvarez just has a very rangy feel to his work. Deep stance, off the back foot, onto the front, very easily, opens up the attack, but then able to come out and just look at that right hand, jabbing away all the time, searching for a weakness in that defense of Selimov and then he just lets go with the punches very fluid combinations but then Selimov straight through the guard with the lead right hand Selimov looking to uh, put some pressure on coming in drops his guard trying to invite Alvarez to make a mistake here just look at the exchange there blisteringly fast and Alvarez Willow the Wisp esque as he's gone Alvarez at the end there, just holding out that left hand, teeing him up, the right hand I should say, boxing out the south ball, and then just coming through with that big left hand. You have to give that one to the Cuban, though uh, there were some brilliant spells there from the Aziri, and this is proving to be just uh, as tough a contest as everyone thought it would be. Absolutely brilliant. I think it may go to a split round, they were very close, and um, well, Good call, yeah. Selimov getting uh, two judges to uh, Alvarez's one, though. And uh, that's maybe a slight surprise to me. I thought Alvarez was maybe just ahead, but, well, Judge B agreed. And uh, Selimov got two of the judges. So uh, things looking pretty even at the moment. Second round. Back out for the second round in this lightweight category. Two world champions going at it in the WSB finals. I mean, this really is the highest level that you're going to find in um, boxing at, 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 in, in any category. We've just seen two fantastic, fantastic fighters in Sotolongo and Nuradzinov. That was a very close fight. The scoring didn't really reflect the work that Nuradzinov did for my liking actually but uh, it was a nevertheless deserved win by Sotolongo but we saw with that the opening scoring favoured the aggression and we're seeing that here now from Albert Selimov he just flies in behind that right hook yeah big smiles as well it's only the Cuban who does uh, all the smiling and the showboating but he's met his match here Selimov he's so quick in with that right hand Trying to get round the guard of the Cuban. Selimov smart enough to stand off and change direction, really causing problems for Alvarez in terms of locking on and getting on the target. But um, this is good work from both boxers. But the Cuban needs to get engaged and he needs to start scoring. Punching in the clinch there to the back of the head, and uh, the referee just warns them both there to be careful. Interesting to note that Alvarez has had six wins in the WSB, and three of them were away from home. So uh, the strong support from the crowd here in Baku will not affect Alvarez in the slightest. But uh, yeah, this is a much anticipated match up between these two. Oh, four five punch combination there and this is just more about style class and uh, an exhibition of skills rather than physical dominance between these two. They really really are jousting here and um, Selimov drops his guard to try and bring Alvarez on but they really are playing if you like physical snap. impressive about Selimov is the way he's uh, changing tactics for different fights here he's almost uh, brought Cuban style tactics to this fight asking Alvarez to come on big smile there on his face he's really enjoying himself he certainly feels he's getting the better of the Cuban 
So does the crowd, but the Cuban has been coming forward. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how the judges see that. Again, it could be a, a bit of a split decision. Perhaps more clean blows coming from the Aziri. Just in the slow-mo, we can see the aggressive nature of Selimov. But uh, the evasive skills from the Cuban, absolutely first class. One of the great things about the scoring system is uh, there's no guessing. We get to see it at the end of each round. 10-9 across the board. And uh, yes, indeed, Selimov getting in those nice clean blows. Judge B has them evens, but the other two judges, 2018 up. And, uh, well, this is interesting. After two rounds, the great Alvarez is not in the lead. Selimov, the more experienced, older fighter, the world champion from 2007, has uh, deployed the better tactics so far. I think the judges have got it absolutely right it's been an impressive start by Selimov he's come to do business right from the get-go and uh, he's shown a great display of different styles and tactics he's been aggressive he stood off he's used his footwork changed his direction on a sixpence he's really made Alvarez work and Alvarez hasn't landed the shot and on a pure score count it's got to go to Selimov and it has done this is pivotal and it's pivotal still as always in the competition across the 10 bouts. So uh, let's see what Alvarez can do. task for Alvarez because Salimov has done his homework he's determined to come here and uh, really cause problems and uh, he's done just that saw a quick slick four or five punch combination but it was all on the arms of Selimov Selimov got out of danger quickly hit the Cuban there and again, came close to tagging him on the temple. Again, that left hand reaches the temple. And he's got the power, Selimov. So, Alvarez needs to have a care. Well, Alvarez is attacking and throwing these great combinations. They're all just being met with a, a brilliant guard by Selimov. His movement in defense is outstanding. Third round, just a little bit of a standoff from Selimov as he's trying to uh, frustrate Alvarez. Alvarez cannot land the shots cleanly. He got through with a good punch there. That straight right hand. Selimov uh, still backing up, choosing to uh, come in and engage when he wants. That's actually the key to it for Selimov. He's just, this is very much his office today. He's in and out, and uh, he's done what he wants when he's got there. And look at the face of uh, Alvarez. It's very much of this saying on my script. Trying to finish strongly here, Alvarez, but Selimov still out of range. Still causing a problem. Well, the shoulder barging in the first couple of rounds at the... Uh, Bell at the end has been uh, replaced with a tap of the gloves, a bit more sporting. These two really respecting each other here. Well, Alvarez really putting some heat on the shots now, putting some leverage in, trying to break through and trying to slow the mobility of Selimov down. Interesting to see if the judges find in favour of Alvarez because that was a strong finish in the round but uh, could still be split but he needs the decision now well Alvarez just getting one judge in his favor there so 29 28 judge B he's up but 30 27 from the other two judges with just two rounds to go starts to make uh, 
Things look like it will go the way of Selimov. It's hard to see one of these two men winning the round 10-8 or knocking the other out. Their uh, defenses have been so good. So we're underway, round number four. Lazaro Alvarez is under some pressure here now. Albert Selimov has got his tactics spot on. Three world titles between them. None of that matters right now. It's all about WSB team glory. We spoke earlier about uh, Yuradzinov being a national hero. I think uh, Selimov falls into that category if he takes a win here against Alvarez. And uh, not that he's not a national hero before he went into the ring, but this would just add. And he really is taking ownership of this. It really is the Selimov show here. He's making Alvarez just look a little bit slow. He's missing more than he'd like to Alvarez, but just look at how hard Alvarez is having to work to try and nail his man down. Great lateral movement. Again, great defensive work from Selimov. Every time he comes in, uh, swinging these hooks, Alvarez, he's been met with uh, a brilliant guard to the side of the head. When he comes up straight up the middle again, very little of that. Look at that, that's outstanding defense from uh, the Aziri. You look at Selimov's face, and uh, well, he looks like the boxer that's been in a fight. Maybe this is a better round now for Alvarez as he starts to shut down shot for Selimov and start to land the shot. Selimov's face just looking a little bit worse for wear, and uh, well. This is where he might up the ante, Alvarez. Punches thrown is very high for Alvarez. In terms of actual quality blows hitting their target, virtually none. Certainly a stronger round for Alvarez, and uh, this might split the judges again in favour of Alvarez, but. Uh, it's not enough, he really needs to finish strongly here in order to take the bout. And Selimov just not giving him a chance, just look at the evasive skills and uh, really putting on a great display, the lateral movement. Alvarez miss by slipping. Well, just a few seconds to go here at the end of round four. Alvarez desperately trying to get this round in his favour. And I think he might just have done enough to uh, get the nod, but it could well be another split decision. It was that tight. You have to be so impressed by Selimov's defensive work. He soaked up so many punches. Well, I think for Selimov, and uh, as we saw with Muradzinov, it's not just a case of beating a champion here. It's a case of beating a champion and looking good, showing all the skills and uh, covering up, slipping punches, the evasiveness, the kind of things that we know the Cubans do well. Well, the boys from Baku out to show that they can do it. I just I thought Alvarez had done just enough there to uh, get the nod across all three judges' scorecards, but still 39 to 37 on A and C's card. And uh, that means going in to the final Second round, off, please. Alvarez will need to win by 10-8 on one of their scorecards to uh, round number five. bring it to some kind of uh, decision that could be in his favour. Well, the referee just deeming that Selimov is coming out a little too sweaty, toweling him down. And uh, here we go then, final round in what has been a cracking match so far. Alvarez, despite going at 100 miles an hour in that last round, round four, still seems very fresh. Certainly, across the five rounds, it's been all thrills and no fills. There's not been one clinch. The referee has not intervened once, it's just been pure action. But Alvarez seemingly knowing what's involved here, looking to take back control, wrest the domination from Selimov and uh, 
finish strongly here. I mean, if he gets a TKO or a standing count against Selimov, that might tip the scales or certainly bring things up to parity. But uh, Alvarez left it just a little bit too late. And Selimov, all he's got to do is keep out of danger and do what he's been doing so far. Crisp start to this round. Alvarez going to work early. He's been counted well a couple of times again. Look at that. Seven, eight punch combination and Selimov soaks it all up. Well, going into this, I never thought this matchup across the two days would be this close. It's absolutely nail biting. And uh, yesterday's performance from uh, the Azerbaijani Baku fires must have buoyed them and given them confidence. I thought the scoreline was going to be much more in favour of the Cubans. But, uh, well, today they've certainly come out with that confidence and it's being personified in the performance by Selimov here. Albert Selimov coming out and uh, doing what the Cubans do right back at them. You know what, if Selimov pulls this off, and I think he just might, then uh, it will go to four apiece with two fights to go. And, uh, well, with uh, Julio Cesar de la Cruz in the Cuban camp, a double world champion again, you'd expect that fight to go to the Cubans, but the super heavies, you'd expect to go to the Aziris. We could well be on for a tiebreaker tonight. Alvarez, though, he uh, doesn't want that to happen. He wants to win this. Still with just over 35 seconds to go. Well, the smarts from Selimov, he's keeping out of trouble, just working the counter, not allowing Alvarez to score very heavily, indeed not engage at all. And Selimov just presenting a target, but then taking it away. And uh, out of the two fighters, it's Selimov that looks as if he's been in uh, a real fight here. I have to say, Alvarez looks uh, lemon fresh going into this, but uh, the clock's on, and that's going to be Ooh, a little bit of a... Uh, that, that was a yeah. false ending there. We thought it was the, the, the 10 second clapper, but Alvarez thought it was the bell. That's the bell. Well, well, well. They both raise their hands in victory. Alvarez again. Same story, I think, as round number four. The busier of the two, but Selimov counted with a couple of good combinations. It might just get him the nod. It'll certainly be very close again with this round. And well, we've seen one judge's scorecard. Well, he's in favour of the Cuban. The other two in favour by two points over the first four rounds of the Aziri. So uh, the Cuban, I don't think he had a 10-8 round there. Impossible. So if it's a 10-9, uh, even if he wins all three judges' scorecards by 10-9, he's not done enough. Well, I think uh, we've got a new hero amongst the uh, Aziri team because, as you said, crunching the math, just an impossible task for Alvarez to have drawn a parity, let alone Selimov. is Albert Selimov! Selimov takes the win over the Olympic champion. Two world champions met in the ring, and uh, it was a fascinating contest here in Baku, but uh, the local boy has done it. 10-9 across all of the judges' scorecards in favor of the Cuban, who was finishing strong. Another round, and it might have been a different story. Split decision then, Michelin seeing it in favor of the Cuban. 49, 46, quite a difference really. But all of the rounds were so, so tight. Well, to sum up succinctly, uh, Selimov deserved to win, and I think the judges scored it right. I don't think Alvarez did enough work early on, but that is what is simply known as a triple result. And uh, the Selimov household will be absolutely overjoyed by that. Well, look at this. So far, two wins to one in favor of the Aziris on the night. It's four a piece in the series two fights to go the super heavies next and then the light heavies to finish us off or maybe not as we might have to go to a tiebreaker